Peoples, 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 what is going on? I am Finesse, and I'm here in an empty garage. <laughs> All right, but that's for good reason. Uh, me and Mrs. Finesse are about to head down to Daytona for Daytona Bike Week. Now, uh, the plan was to ride to Daytona. We've done it before, you know, so it wouldn't have been our first trip. Um, however, uh, Miss Finesse's bike, her uh, Challenger Elite, um, is in the shop here at Savannah Motorsports. I will definitely fill you guys in on that once I get back from Daytona. Uh, but needless to say... Uh, Mrs. Finesse didn't want to ride on the back for four hours. <laughs> I don't blame her. Uh, so I got the trailer out. We got the truck connected up. Um, I've got Bella inside the trailer, and we're going to be trailering down to Daytona. So, um, you know, like, like I said in the previous video, hey, sometimes you got to pivot. All right. So uh, we're going to get uh, all geared up. And Oh, before I forget. Um, so I did tell you guys that we were going to be using those um indian motorcycle uh tour bags right so the day bag and the tour bag get the camera flipped around i got my jacket so i do have the bag packed up it is in here so i have mrs finesse's stuff up here and i have my stuff down here and this is the tour bag the day bag we're gonna put our uh toiletries in like i said man i will keep you guys updated on how that goes uh, as far as the usefulness of those bags or you know the durability and all those things now granted it's not on the back of the bike and the elements but you know it's still getting used and you know i'll keep you guys updated all right so i gotta get uh what else we have to do got all my stuff i got my helmets i got my jackets boots pants gloves um what am i missing what am i oh mrs finesse <laughs> i gotta get mrs finesse out of the house all right so for all my uh, people with spouses, you know how sometimes that can be a chore, uh, but it's all good. I kind of rushed her a little bit, full disclosure. We were supposed to leave at 11. I asked her if we could leave at 10 this morning, so we'll see what happens. It's Right now, it's uh, 9.45, so fingers crossed, right? <laughs> all right, y'all, so we'll check in here in a bit. All right, so we have made it to our... I was gonna say our first stop, but it's our only stop. <laughs> uh, and we had to stop at Bucky's, right? Cause we're in Florida. So you gotta stop at Bucky's. Um, I don't know if that was a good idea or a bad idea because there was a lot of people's, people's, people's in Bucky's. Holy cow. My goodness, that place was- So many people. So many. Uh, but we got something to eat. We got something to drink. We're gonna take a quick break and then we back at it. We're, I think we're like an hour out, so it shouldn't be Shouldn't be too well to be an hour so <laughs> we'll be there in a bit so after our stop at bucky's where i had a fantastic brisket sandwich uh me and mrs finesse arrived at our destination down in uh daytona beach florida um so the main reason i was going down to daytona because uh this year our annual kickoff for the indian motorcycle ambassadors was in no better place uh than daytona beach during bike week um, so once we got settled, I had some meetings and things I had to attend to. Uh, so I went and did that. But after that, later that night, Indian Motorcycle rented out a restaurant, uh, or at least a portion of the restaurant. Uh, and it was called Mama Fufu.
right, y'all. So it is, uh, just to give you a little catch up. This is the following morning. Um, just getting up. They put us at the uh, Hilton, the uh, oceanfront. Um, you, know, you know, a hotel is a hotel. Uh, even It's a nice hotel. However, what I really wanted to show you guys, there's a bike washing station right here. <laughs> so, you know, you're coming off the road, you got a water hose, you got a bucket. Uh, I guess this is where you put your dirty stuff in here. You can put, or they have uh, clean rags for you so you can wipe it down. Uh, they ain't go too far now. They're not gonna give you, they ain't gonna give you soap and everything, but that is still cool that you've got a bike washing station right there for you to use. You can get all the dirt and grime and stuff off your bike. But I gotta get my, uh, get the bike and head over to the track. We have a, a thing that we're gonna do to be doing this morning. And I get you guys some shots of that as well. Check this out, man. Uh, that's Brave Wolf Customs, yeah? Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay, nice, nice. You got carbon fiber bags. Man, man I'm doing I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> you got the toast exhaust, that is nice. Got your intake. You bought the trailer, I just bought the carbon. There, there you go, there you go. Man. Uh, what 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 are these bars? Uh sick bagger company. Sick Bagger Company SBC. All right, you get the nice little floorboards. It's good stuff, man. It's just oh, and, and you have a with a two-inch lift. Yeah, and uh, big bear cartridges up front. Big bear cartridges up front. Big. A fancy guys. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. And then you got the barnstorm yep. dealy deal with the T bars. Man. This thing's nice, man. Basic recipe. Yeah. <laughs> And right here we got the, uh, oh, this is a new, you know what? I really haven't paid that much attention to the FTRs, but this, the new design here on the carbon, that is nice. I like that. And that's the uh, Carbon R. Good looking bike. One of the ambassadors is going to be riding that. Uh, but then right over here, you've got the RSD. You got the Super Hooligan on there. You got all the, the partners and thing. Nice looking bike. Nice looking bike. Uh, and then you got the old number plate there. You got the four inch ride command. Carbon fiber, everything. Number plates all over the place. Uh, you got some more stuff down here for. Oh, you got some fancy looking rear sets on. I didn't even see that. Look at that. Oh, it looks like, and it looks like it's adjustable. Yeah, so you just loosen this up and you can push this back a bit if you want it back or forward. That's cool. And this here, uh, it looks like it has positions as well. You come down here to this, you get like different positions. It's got like little dots on it. So adjustable controls. Nice. Did they put adjustable hand controls on? I don't see any adjustable. Oh, yeah, you got an adjustment right here. Nice. Morning, ladies. Morning. 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 Yeah. All right. Oh, look at this. That is a wild, wild color. What up? Bearded Bobber, he's on YouTube as well. Check him out. <laughs> this red, that, the reds, man, they really do a good job with the reds. Ah. It's this borderline torture because I really enjoy the color red. I just have not owned any vehicles or motorcycles in red. I don't know why that is. It's just weird. Uh, and this is the new graphics that they put on some of the Chieftains. Um, I want to say it's the ones with the power band audio. So what do you what do you guys think about the graphics on the new motorcycles? I don't know. Let me know. Oh, look at this. That's a good looking color as well. They really did it with these colors this year. I like this stuff. Ooh.
So we are now at Indian Motorcycle of Daytona. This is the owner's ride event. Uh, we've got the regional coordinators and the Indian Motorcycle ambassadors here. Uh, we've got uh, a ton of other bikes over here. Matter of fact, they're stretching all the way around uh, the parking lot uh, because there were so many bikes that they were saying that they didn't allot enough space. Uh, so we're working through that kind of stuff. So we got the uh, sign-in booth right there. We got all these bikes. Got all the ambassadors rolling around here. Ooh, excuse me, excuse me. Okay. We're going. Hey, so you got out of the garage, huh? <laughs> all right. All right, so these are all the uh, test bikes they have here at the dealership. Look at this, this is the Icon Sport Chief. I've never seen one of these like out in person. And this uh, this brown, I mean, it looks like brown sugar, man. The, the, the color is just, it's freaky. There's also a Challenger in this color, or it might be a Pursuit. I can't remember, I, I believe it's a Challenger though. Uh, but there's a Challenger in that color, it looks really good. You know, in, in life, you know, life sends you signs, all right? Sometimes they send you little subtle signs. Sometimes they send you uh, pretty large ones, right? So today's sign is I'm doing things and Hello. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, hey. I'm number 15. <laughs> All right, so we are walking around Daytona, uh, the Indian Motorcycle Daytona. And lo and behold, uh, number uh, 15? 15? 15. Number 15, the Challenger Elite, the 24, is the, the owners are here. Uh, they spotted Mrs. Finesse. You can't miss her hair, right? Okay, we're, uh, we're Jim and Cheryl. From Minnesota, Twin Cities. <laughs> so, got the number 15 yet, Challenger Elite. Awesome bike. Um, I did the uh, KST uh, Comanche bars, uh, tab uh, zombies on it. Boy, I'm trying to think of what else. I did about everything. Got a lot of Brave Wolf stuff on there, everything that I could put on there. And uh, anyway, love the bike. 230 miles, all of it down here because too cold to ride up in Minnesota. So, Hey everybody in Facebook land, cheers. YouTube. And YouTube, yeah. yes. Oh yeah, sorry. whoop, my bad. Have you seen any other 24 since you've been out here? Uh, one. Yeah, well, yeah there's, well, there's one other bike right up there. Well, that's, a, that's one of the demo bikes. Oh, oh that's yeah, a, yeah. Okay. Well, so you might be the only owner right now. Yeah, I think Okay, I nice. Tell you, man, like, these bikes are so unique, they're so rare, you're not gonna see many of these in one spot. I mean, when you get elite, man, you get the exclusivity, that's what you get. And that is, this bike is beautiful.
boss. Yeah, man. Where are you out of? So, <laughs> I moved mean, from Melbourne, Australia to Melbourne, Florida. So we're down in there. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah. Hey, Melbourne from Melbourne. Melbourne to Melbourne. <laughs> hey, that's, a, that's a long way to go. Sorry? Is that, uh, you, you come here for work or? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I worked for a company for a long time and we're trying to get it together. Eventually it happens. So we've been out here about six and a half years now. Nice. Yeah. yeah. How, how you liking it? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's, yeah. uh, it's been there. Yeah, my kids, one's in college now and I've done high school and everything. So it's nice. Nice. Florida's nice. Florida's nice. Florida's you ride all year, so yeah, you know, no the doubt. Roads are a little bit flat, a little bit straight. But you can't yeah. ride all year. That's uh, it. You get your fix, man. Yeah. I, I know you're doing stuff, but I, I set up a bit of a YouTube channel. Drop as well, so I've, I've seen. You've seen yeah, around? Yeah, I've, I've seen I've, this. Some of the, some of our rides for the group and things. So I got Nice. Got all right. Well, hell, I got one for you. I'll get it to you all here right, in a bit. I'll catch you. Yeah, all right, man. Yeah, no, Thank right. you. Good to meet you. Yeah. Take care. Good to meet you. Finesse the challenge, hey, man. How, how you doing, doing man? I'm good. I'm good. Brother, I watch you all the time, yeah, man. Thank you, thank you. All right. Is your wife traveling with you today? Too? Yeah, she is right over there. Okay. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Very nice. Cool to what, you, what, what are you riding? Out of Palm Bay. Uh, no, a challenger. You ride a challenger? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yeah, all right, bro. How you doing, bro? Hey, hey, how you doing? Peace, this is you and the uh, chieftain. Okay. All right, nice. Good stuff, man. I like those. I like the headdress, man. That, it has like a, it has like a 3D. You know, it gives it a little more depth. That's cool. Damn, all right, I'll catch up with you. All right, look, riding fish's bike is here, but there's no riding fish. <laughs> we got Mike here from, we got here from Ride Culture. This is the Mad Monkey 112, man, and you got the Bryant M1 lights on there from Ride Culture. That's the man right there. Ride Culture, we're a new company, uh, veteran owned. We uh, come out and see us. We've got a booth out here in Daytona. Um, right at the dealership, Daytona um, Indian. Yeah, just come out, see us, see, see what we got. We've got TNA, Davidson Audio there as well. Um, we've got uh, Lawless Garage from Canada. They're down as well. Uh, they've got a bunch of stuff on, on TNA's bikes. Riding Fish's bike will be there as well. Riding Fish's merch will be there <laughs> as well. Definitely copy some of that stuff. Um, and yeah, we've just got so many folks over there, Mando, Baggers yep, yep. there as well, awesome. so I'm just hanging out the ride culture booth. All right, man. Come out well, and see good us. Good seeing you, bro. Good seeing you, brother. Yeah, man. Take it easy. The bobber. What up? Man, hey, hey, so. Actually, I like your stuff, man. It yeah, looks really you. good, man. Yeah, see? Now I just gotta, like, buy it. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, look at that! Add some real bullet style. Look at that. Yeah, man, that is cool. That's it. That's it. Vent, man, you got GPS on vintage. Come on, that now. Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. That is cool, man. Just a little of the details, man. The details. The guy that did the leather on this, all this. Yep. He's the same guy that does all Alice Cooper's leather and everything. He's out of Colorado. Really? Yeah. Really? Phil Eastman is his name. Nice. Phil Eastman, huh? Nice. That that's cool. Yeah, he's a he's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, man. That is awesome. Great looking bike. There it is, man. Uh, oh. get you some of that. Perfect. Uh, you're on, you're on YouTube now, man. That's All it. Right, man. <laughs> the one and only. Hey, I caught him while he's eating and drinking. <laughs> Two hundred of us today, baby. Yeah. Yes, yeah. indeed. Indian takeover, man. Yep. That's it, man. Yes, Looking good out here. What are you What are you riding again? Uh, Indian Challenger. Challenger, yes, and then Challenger. You're a Challenger he's too. He's got the flat black. I got the glossy black. Oh, there you go, man. You guys, you guys both Palm Coast or? No, I'm uh, from the other coast. I'm between Sarasota and Tampa and Parrish. Oh, I'm okay. I'm way down a little town called Fort St. Lucie, but I went to Palm Bay Group. So I ride an hour to them, just so I can ride. Hey, man, you got, got to get it. <laughs> <laughs> got to get it. Hey, good seeing you, yes, man. Sir. Good seeing you.
All right, so like I said in the video, that was the IMRG Owner's Group ride. Really good ride. They changed it up a bit from last year. Um, and this year we left the dealership. We went through Main Street. Um, and then we came back around. And then we picked up part of the Ormond Loop. And then came down and we ended up at the racetrack there in Daytona. So when we ended at the racetrack, that was the absolute highlight of that entire ride. Uh, because as you can see in the video, people were like stopping and looking and, you know, pulling their cameras out. You know, it's just all eyes on us, you know, because we had a large group of Indian motorcycles just rolling through and people were just stopping and looking, man. It was it was absolutely fantastic. If you've never been a part of the uh, IMRG ride event at Daytona Beach during bike week, that is something that you got to do. That That is you got to check that off the list, man. That, that was just amazing. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Uh, I really had a great time out there at uh, Daytona Bike Week. Uh, hats off to the coordinators uh, that put all of this on for the ambassadors. So uh, Maddie and Nick, guys did a great job, had a blast out there. Uh, it was great interacting with all the people, seeing all the bikes, just a great experience overall. Um, so, like I tell you guys all the time, man, ride every day, and most importantly, Make sure you enjoy it. Peace.